pedicure day. We're gonna get the house hoop trim today. So Ashley, our hoop trimmer is just getting set up here. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, explain it as it goes, but we'll run all the cows through today and we'll get all their feet trimmed up. Cow's head's pink. It's not a fashion trend or anything. There's no punk rock cows around here, but no, all the cows have gotten trimmed. We need to be painting them pink. Just that next week, when Ashley comes back to trim the remaining half of the herd, we can know that any cow marked pink is already done. Uh, today's sort was very easy. We just kind of split the herd in half, and then from that half, we took half again. But next week, we're going to have to go through, and they're going to be all mixed up. Half the cow is trimmed, half not, so next week will be a bit more sorting, but uh, this will definitely make it a lot easier. For us. harder to see.
want to make the hoof a more dished out shape instead of just leaving it flat. Uh, <clears throat> here, when they walk, a lot of pressure gets uh, put on the foot on the inside. It's like put like a pedal bone inside. So when they when they walk, they keep hitting that part of the foot on the ground. So then they take that, kind of scoop that part up, take pressure off the pedal bone inside the foot. Hopefully, it stops any bruising and stuff happening. Mm -hmm. when they walk. Okay. So the foot bath is working then. Good. So when you're looking at it, what is the difference between a live wart and a dead wart? A live wart would be pretty red, kind of sore. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Maybe cut the cow's foot and then I kick a little bit. Mm -hmm. Week, it would kind of just get a little scab over the top and underneath it would still be still be alive board, yeah, yeah. Heard it's, you know it's kind of dying underneath the, the, the inside as well to their foot if their hooves ended up getting way too long, especially at the front. I'll say with anybody, you know, if you guys are comfortable from the walk, they're you know, going to lie down all the time, they won't eat as much, or they don't eat, they don't get, you know, not healthy, they don't milk as much. And, and the, the ends of the toes can actually overlap then, can't they? Yeah, they can overlap. They can let them outside sometimes. With the, break off, they get too long, they break off. They Same break too short? Too short, and they get sore that way. Same with anybody, you don't like, don't like long fingernails either, so it's kind of the same with the cows. So you're thinking you probably won't wrap it, just the foot bath will handle it? Yeah. Yeah. They probably just, just let it be because I scrape some of the hairs that off. So it's a little bit more exposed and they can get in there better? Yeah. Is it better to wait a few days after they've been trimmed before you put them in the foot bath? No. That doesn't matter now. No? And that was Harry Heelworth, that one. The original dermatitis or there's lots of names for it, but yeah, there's yeah, yeah. random ones there, yeah. Okay. The one that was the white one that was rear. Yeah, number. Okay. Nine six five. Okay. So that rear kind of walking this buddy on or I didn't notice anybody too late, but yeah, that's the one of the names just walking. Until she had a bad bad word in there. So they're all dying off, so I'm not gonna uh, oh, okay. Okay, and the foot bath is working, so third of the way through trimming this morning. Uh, so what we've done, we're going to trim the entire herd. Uh, our herd and the new herd, everyone's getting trimmed. But we can't do all 90 some cows in one visit. That's just too much for Ashley in one day. And just for the cows too, it's better to not take up their entire day. So what we've done is we've taken and divided the herd into two this morning. So there's half the cows are outside and they're locked outside for the morning. Uh, the remaining 50 that were in the barn, we split off 25 put them in the holding area. Those are the ones that Ash is trimming right now. The cows behind me that are waiting on the straw, they're up next. 
So what we'll do here in a few minutes is a big shuffle. Uh, once the valves are done, Ashley's chute will push it forward. We'll swing some gates. We'll push the cows off the straw into the holding area. And then those ones will get trimmed. And once the cows and other straw are in the holding area, then I can open up the gates and everyone come back to normal because the cows outside are now are a little short in feed bunk space and they have no water. So an hour or two without water will be a big deal, but any longer than that, we don't want to push them. So why are we doing this? Why are we trimming cows' feet? Well, cows, like you or I, we have fingernails. Our fingernails grow. We clip our fingernails and our toenails. Cows are no different. Our fingernails and their feet are the exact same thing. So we trim them to keep them the proper length. Uh, cows' boobs will grow and they will wear some off over time. Uh, but with a straw patch barn, they don't wear off as much as they would if they were outside or on concrete all the time. So we have to trim them. So what we do is twice a year actually comes down and we do this. We go through the whole herd, get everybody done. Um, and yeah, there'll be a few cows today that you'll see have bandages on their feet from wraps it. They'll have a maybe a small ward or small lesion that actually will have bandaged up, uh, but not too many of those. And um, yeah, we get this done twice a year. Every cow we get done twice a year. But what we do on a weekly basis for hoof health is we run a foot bath. So we use acidified copper sulfate. Uh, we mix that with water, and the cows walk through it, and it's a foot bath. It literally is just that. It's a bath. The cows walk through it. And, uh, and that, what that does is that helps that copper helps to harden the hooves. And then any lesions or warts that are growing in between their claws, it'll help to keep that under control. So we do that every week. Every week, for the 14 milkings that week, six of those the cows are going to be going through a foot bath. So we do that every week. Only exception being uh, when it's extremely cold, we don't foot bath. So this year, I think we've missed three foot bath days because of extreme cold. Other than that, the foot baths are always there. A little blurb on why we do boot trimming and the importance of deep health. You can see this cow here has got a wrap on her foot. It's just like a stretchy bandage material that goes around there. So on the back of her foot, here we'll look at her good foot, but right between her back claw, she would have had a little wart. So what Ashley will have done is put a little bit of uh, powder on there that's going to uh, kill the wart, and then a piece of gauze on the powder, and then the wrap just to hold it all in place. Now I'll stay in there for a couple days and then we'll pull it off. But yeah, that's why the wrap is on there. Alright, so it's later on in the day now. Evening milking time. I actually got done trimming here about two hours ago. And yeah, all went well. Uh, nothing major to report. A couple of cows and wraps on there that'll heal up. We'll take those wraps off in about a week. But yeah. That was it. Thanks for tagging along for Ruthering Day and see you next time.